right, welcome back everybody. We are here and I figured we'd start from the back side, give you kind of a little look from a different angle of the plant. Kind of see what we're working with here. Leaves are awful green. Over here you can see our main vine right there. Down here is our stem, or our, our, our actual, uh, the crown, I guess. Sorry, not the stem, the crown of the pump, of the main vine. This is where it came from. You can see in there. It's a tangled mess. We've had some third stage growth. That's what a little of that vine growing over there is. I just let it go. Leave the leaves go. I want as much greenery as possible. Like I've said in the past, generally, July, our plants are looking pretty worn. So I always let third stage growth to take over. This year, plants don't look worn. So I don't know. Maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe I'm gonna lose some poundage, but I don't know. I just I let these new leaves grow right here. So we also keep a fan right there 24 7 always blowing on that guy the other one's over here main crown of this guy you can see him right there he's a little cleaner at the moment I can see some third stage growth starting so maybe I need to clean that up they're getting pretty big they're starting to grow pretty large so over here there she is the oh holy geez what the heck was that huh you were hiding behind the pumpkin. <laughs> yep, it's big, pretty easy to hide behind it. Why don't you hop on down off of the, let's see how big it is compared to you. There we go, there you go. Pretty good size, getting up there pretty high on him. So day 50, let's go see what she is measuring. All right, so now it is time to measure this girl. And as a note, we've moved it a second time. So Kate, you can go ahead and show him the stem to see what we jerked it out probably six inches the first time, maybe eight, and then another six inches the second time. So there we go. There's what it looks like. And now let's measure her. Are you okay? All right. So it's tougher by the moment. So we're going to give you the two measurements. We'll let you see those two. And then. The side to side and the end to end. Okay, Cade, let's go check it out. Oh, there's 90 way up here, so we must be over 100. There's 100. 110 inches. Looks like on the dot. Dang. Yep, and now we'll go do this one. Cade, why don't you switch me spots over here? You come over this side. Now, this isn't any patent fruits. They just posted some pictures on BigPumpkins.com. So, um, if you want to go see them, that'd be great. They, Ian Patton on BigPumpkins.com has a whole bunch of the biggest pumpkins I've ever seen. So, they're unbelievable. Alright, here we go. There's 90. It looks like right at 99 inches right there. there almost 100 so 110 and 99 which by the way i know it's a different shape fruit but this one here if it gets to be 100 inches this way that will set a new record for us we've never had two measurements of over 100 inches yeah all right so kate's gonna pause the video right here and we're gonna do the last measurement together yep all right, so we measured the circumference. Kate and I both did. A little help from him. Thanks a lot, buddy. Yep. Was about 162 inches. So 162, 110, 99. Put that in the calculator. It comes out to about 1,150 pounds on day 50. By far the biggest one we've had to date. It means over the last 10 days, it's done right around 30 pounds per day. We'll call yep. it. That's excellent for us. It's obviously on its downward slide which is normal I mean it's almost August and if I could get 15 pounds per day really if I could get push it and maybe get 20 pounds per day in August well it'd be a monster then I don't know yeah. if I can hope for that I don't know if we have quite the climate for that but we're hoping for at least 15 pounds per day out of her for the next 30 days 
we get that, we got one heck of a big pumpkin. Yeah. All right, guys, stay tuned. Day 60, we're still growing. Yeah. There'll be another guest at weight contest. So good luck to everybody. See you later. Bye.